There are some fantastic road bikes to look out for next year, and we've managed to whittle our watch list down to just five bikes that you need to keep your eyes on. Some are thoroughbred racers, while others are long distance machines, so there's something for everyone here. But are there any that you think we've missed? Let us know which bike you've got your eye on for 2024 in the comments below. The Specialized Tarmac SLA arrived late in the season, so we didn't get to see it doing that many races. Specialized says that this is the perfect balance of aero and lightweight, so we're keen to see how the SLA handles sprint finishes, cobbled classics and the high mountains next year. Compared to the outgoing Tarmac SL7, the updates appear minimal at first. The front end has received most of the attention, with Specialized claiming that the leading tubes on the bike are the most important for aerodynamics. An elongated head tube called the Speed Sniffer drew a fair amount of attention at launch, but it is softening in our eyes. And hey, if it really helps to make the SL8 16.6 seconds faster than the Venge at 45 km per hour as Specialized claims, then we can live with it. Helping with those speed claims is a new Rover Rapid one-piece front end, and the SLA also takes design cues from the uber light Athos. Instead of shooting for deeper aero profiled sections all over the bike, the down tube, seat tube, seat post and seat stays are all purposefully designed to improve the bike's speed in the real world. The tube profiles are marginally rounder than the Tarmac SL7, which the brand says helps to make them lighter and enables them to bear the load of the rider and the forces produced more efficiently. A top-end S-Works frame is set to be the lightest widely used frame in the professional peloton, weighing a claimed 685 grams in a size 56. We'd imagine that will cause a fair few covetous looks from other riders. So. How will the Tarmac SL8 fare in 2024? Well, given that Specialized sponsors a load of the biggest teams, we'd bet it will win a fair few races. But is it different enough from the SL7 for the paying public to buy the new bike? We'll just have to see. If you want a pro race bike without the heart-stopping price tag, then Van Riesel's RCR is one to watch. We are absolutely desperate to get our hands on it for review, because we think that this is going to be incredibly popular in 2024. The RCR is Van Riesel's new aero road bike designed in-house by the brand in conjunction with Onera, a French aerospace company. It sports a broadly familiar aero shape with truncated tubes, dropped seat stays, a rear wheel cutaway, aero seat post and internal cable routing. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Now, I'm not the first to say it, but this looks a lot like the old Specialized Tarmac SL7. It'll be no surprise to learn then that the RCR is designed to offer all-round appeal, with the claimed weight of this SRAM Force build coming in at 7.2 kilos. The cockpit is a two-piece affair, aiding the adjustability and fit, while the stem has been co-developed with data. The cables run out of the handlebar, under the stem and into the headset. It'll take a 33mm tyre and there is apparently a World Tour version on the cars for 2024. This version of the RCR uses a different carbon layup with the primary aim of boosting stiffness around the head tube. The claimed weight is 810 grams, which is impressive for a disc brake aero bike and the complete weight for the bike drops to 6.8 kilos, according to Van Riesel. The World Tour version also gains a one-piece cockpit, making it ready to roll for the AG2R Citroen team who will be riding it. So, is the Van Riesel RCR on track to upset the bigger names in 2024? We just think it might be. We might be about to butcher the name of this, but has Bianchi ruined the Specialissima or made one of the best race bikes ever? we're very excited to find out in 2024. Compare the 2024 Specialissima to the Bike of the Year winner from seven years ago and you barely recognize it as the same model. Gone are the svelte, elegant tube shapes and rim brakes, in comes an angular design and disc brakes along with a host of aero and weight claims. The first is that a 55cm bike weighs, Bianchi claims, a UCI illegal 6.6 kilos. 
That's impressive given the aero tube shapes and Bianchi says that it's fast too. They're very specific about the Specialissima being faster than an aero road bike on a 6% climb. The old bike apparently needed to be on an 8% gradient before it was more efficient than an aero bike. Given the similar aesthetics, it's no surprise to learn that the Specialissima borrows some of the frame shapes from Bianchi's Ultrate RC. The head tube area has been beefed up while the back of the bike has been slimmed down, mimicking the approach that Specialized took with the Tarmac SL8. A one-piece front end comes in and the Specialissima RC also has its own wheel set, with the Repato Corsa 33R weighing a claimed 1,380 grams. The rims are 33mm deep and 21mm wide internally. The tubeless ready design is bang on current trends and is compatible with tyres up to 32mm wide. But what do you think of this race bike from Bianchi? A triumph of aero design or an insult to aesthetics? We're sure you'll have an opinion on this so let us know in the comments. The latest Giant Defy takes a simplified approach to endurance bike design, forgoing any complex suspension or frame storage in favour of focusing on low weight and ride quality. We'll be looking to see whether recreational riders prefer this approach opposed to the trend for increasing complexity that we see from other big brands. The flagship frame's weight drops to a claimed 785 grams while offering, the brand says, improvements in comfort and efficiency. That's a very respectable 195 grams less than the previous range-topping Defy Advanced Pro. By our calculations, that makes it one of the lightest endurance bike frames on the market. The new Specialized Roubaix, for example, weighs a claimed 828 grams in a size 56. An all-new frame and fork are paired with the brand's defuse seat post and matching defuse handlebar to offer what Giant claims is the perfect bike for going longer, climbing higher, riding faster, and doing it all with confidence and smooth control. Those are bold claims, I'd say. There's also aero touches in the form of flattened trailing edges on the tubes and improvements to front-end integration. Tire clearance has increased from 35 to 38 millimeters and prices range from 2,299 pounds for the Defy Advance 3, rising to 11,499 pounds or $12,000 for the Advanced SL0. But will the focus on low weight and simplicity chime well with buyers? That will be very interesting to see. While many brands look to consolidate their road race bike offerings, Swiss brand BMC has added a third choice to their lineup in the form of the Team Machine R. For 2024, we'll be looking closely at how much this bike gets used in the Pro Peloton, as the riders will still have the lighter 4th gen Team Machine SLR01 and the stiffer and more aero Time Machine Road. There's also speculation over which world team, if any, will be on BMC bikes in 2024. AG2R Citroen, BMC's current World Tour team, is switching to Decathlon's Van Riesel bikes over the winter. Now prices start at a not insignificant $9,199 or €8,999 for the Team Machine R014, and that rises to €14,999 for the Team Machine R01 Limited. BMC says the development of the Team Machine R started from a clean slate, and the frame set's tube profiles were decided upon with input from Red Bull Advanced Technologies. Red Bull has been working with BMC since 2018. The recently unveiled Speed Machine TT bike made in collaboration with Red Bull features a Formula One inspired fork crown spoiler. The Team Machine R's fork is different to pretty much every other bike in the Pro Peloton. Now BMC calls it the Halo fork and says that the wide inner spacing between the fork legs allows turbulent air to be shuttered away from the frame and reduce aero stall that the front wheel would normally produce when rotating at speed. BMC says cleaner air hugs the frame for longer, resulting in significant drag reduction. They have heavily optimized the bottom bracket junction of the Team Machine R for aerodynamics and given it the name Mariana. 
It's larger in surface area as it transitions between the down tube and seat stays, which allows for cleaner airflow according to BMC. The bike is able to take 13mm tyres and features the AeroCore integrated bottle cages that first debuted on the Time Machine Road. But it remains to be seen how much the Team Machine Art will feature at the front of the biggest races, if indeed at all. Five exceptional bikes there, but which bikes do you have your eye on for 2024? Let me know and as always, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel and why not check out the tasty video on your screen.